Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. I am going to be doing a little bit of a different video today. Uh, I made this video a, about a year ago and that was me talking about my new, at the time, Scuf Impact Controller. And that's what I want to do in today's control, uh, today's controller. Today's video is do a full in-depth review of the Scuf Impact and how I found it. Uh, I've owned it for just over a year now. I got it just before last Christmas, so it was around. I think I got it on the 19th of December, 2018. The date today is now the 23rd of January, 2020. So I've had it for about a year and a month. Uh, and to be honest, it has been amazing. And I just want to make this video in case you guys are wondering. Uh, about purchasing a scuff um, or whatever, or if you're interested in the products and you just want to, this is obviously not a sponsored video, I'm not sponsored by scuff, it's just me, gamer to gamer, Call of Duty player to Call of Duty player, whatever game you play, they do come in handy for a lot of different games. Uh, obviously, you've probably all seen the box, so we're going to move out of the way. Um, and the main thing is the controller and how I found it, and the advantages, disadvantages, and what I did. And uh, the like sort of things that have gone wrong with it in the time of me owning it and I've only had it a year which isn't that long but it is a lengthy time obviously I play it every single day near it uh, here or about hereabouts uh, not every single day but most days uh, so it has seen a lot of hours a lot of gameplay but anyway the first issue that I did start to have um, with it was the thumbsticks I did actually get the accessories pack which comes with this nice little case to hold the controller in which if I open this up for you it isn't the best uh, you can't actually, uh, I mean there's just nothing really in it, it does hold the controller and a couple of accessories but apart from that it isn't that great, I mean the case that comes with the, is it the Vantage, the newer model that I don't know if it's actually fully released yet with load more buttons on it which looks stupid to me, I don't like that one at all, I think the Impact is the best one personally, sort of keeps it a lot simple and sort of gives you the exact same benefits at a cheaper price as well. Uh, so the case is okay, I did have to pay additional for that, so I would recommend it to if they do get a lot of extras and pretty cool stuff like these, which I'm about to talk about, the precision thumbsticks. Inside there are the original thumbsticks that did come on the controller, which are the standard PS4 ones. I swapped them out straight away to so these ones, as you can see on the controller. I'm not sure if it's very clear on the camera. Um, they have worn down a fair bit, for show that again. Uh, obviously it's to be expected, uh, and then with this as well, the interlocking rings uh, just there, um, they do twist off and you can remove the thumb stick very, very easily. If I just show you, it comes with this tool, you put it in, you twist, and essentially the thumb stick comes straight off, like that. Easy as that. Uh, I had it where the thumb stick would stick, uh, I looked for ages and ages and ages how to fix this problem. What I did was detach the ring and it worked fine. So I'm not sure if it was the ring over time, just I don't know. Uh, it was super weird, it was proper throwing me off. It happened recently actually, like last couple of weeks. Um, but yeah, if I can tighten this back up. Um, but yeah, apart from that, it has been perfectly fine. As soon as I did get it straight out of the box, it does come with four paddles. As you can see, I have t uh, the only two. So I have my X and my circle, or A and B if you play an Xbox. Uh, so sort of jump and crouch on Call of Duty. So I can drop shot a lot easier, which I don't tend to do, but jump shots is something I do a lot of the time. Throws the enemies aim off insane, uh, especially in Black Ops 4. It was so, so good. In this game, not so much, but in Black Ops 4, it absolutely destroyed. Um, so yeah, I use that a lot. Still very, very clicky. They've not worn down, not giving me a single problem, the paddles itself. But anyway, moving on from the paddles, I do have the military grade grip on the back of the controller as well. Uh, very nice, very nice feel. And also, the front of the controller is not like a plastic, it's sort of like coated. It's very smooth and sort of soft almost. It's not soft, obviously, but it feels soft and it is nice. Very comfortable. It is a lot bigger than a standard PS4 controller. If I do show you, I have a brand new PS4 controller here. If we do a size difference right now, like I can't even do this, I can't even fit it on the screen. It is very, very, uh, well, not very, but a lot bigger than a standard PS4 controller. It feels a lot more nicer in your hands. Uh, comfortable, I would say. The only, another disadvantage, and this is a bit all over, is I use the Elgato uh, chat link. It doesn't quite fit, um, obviously because it is like a little gap. It doesn't quite fit. Uh, and it does create a little bit of buzzing in the background, so if you've seen my previous videos, a little buzzing in the background, that is the reason why. Nothing I can do. I would not dream about going back to a standard PS4 controller now. 
feeling this now. It is horrific. Uh, I have the extended trigger stops on as well. The trigger stops and extended triggers. The trigger stop actually isn't on. But if I just change this, if you just see that, how far that goes down, like that. If I twick, they just have a tool, but you can just do it with your hands like me, because I'm not waiting. Finally managed to twist it if it focuses. And as you can see, it doesn't go anywhere near as far down as it, you don't have to actually push the trigger down for it to happen in game. It makes have a lot faster trigger finger. The camera is not focusing right now. Please focus. Okay, finally got the camera to focus. Uh, another thing is the charging cable. It does come with a braided charging cable and it sort of slots into that little slot, as you can see like that stops it from bending and stops it from breaking very easily I've gone through countless micro USBs using the standard controller as you can see it doesn't have anything to hold it in whatsoever uh, which is a massive issue especially if you like lay down or holding the controller in a different angle and the cables bending and then a week later it's broken it's no good but yeah so I pretty much did get much uh, as many as the additional extras as I could you can get a little disc to go over the d-pad but I feel like that was unnecessary and not needed and no need for that whatsoever if you like it you like it you guys can go for it um but yeah apart from that it is an insane controller it has definitely upped my game uh, massively uh, definitely makes you a better player at first it is a little bit hard to get used to but eventually you do uh, and when you do it it's it does make you into a better player and i've been called a cheater for using one before which to be fair it's not cheating it doesn't make you aim better it doesn't make you react quicker it doesn't make you more accurate it doesn't do any of them things it just sort of allows you to um, the sole purpose of one which I haven't even said is so you don't have to take your fingers off of the analog sticks because you can use the buttons at the back of the controller so it does help out massively in improving your accuracy it doesn't make you more accurate but it definitely helps you improve um, and make sure you can just kill your enemies off guard you, know, you take them more off guard as you can slide around the corner and still move and aim whilst maintaining accuracy and stuff like that it doesn't it isn't it is really really good controller but this video is just hit the 10 minute mark i do believe um might be just under 10 minutes so i'm gonna wrap it up now um so fortunately there's no gameplay i might drop some gameplay in the background uh, just so it's not just me talking it's just my face there's a little bit in the background for you guys to watch and sort of see the scuff um gameplay um but yeah, apart from that, guys, thank you guys ever so much for watching. If you do want to, uh, if this had helped you buy scuff, let me know in the comments below. But yeah, insane controller. Would never ever dream of going back to a standard PS4 controller. But anyway, guys, if you guys are new around here, make sure you do hit that subscribe button down below for more daily videos, which will be Call of Duty, not me talking about actual controller. But anyway, I thought this uh, video might help some of you guys. But thank you guys ever so much for watching. I hope to catch you guys in the next one. Peace.